Happy National Moth Week! I'm Michelle Reynolds, host of the Habitat Garden Club. I work with volunteers every Tuesday from 9 until noon. We work to cultivate native plant pocket gardens around the parking lot medians and around the nature center. The native plants provide plenty of food for birds, bees, butterflies, and moths. We want visitors to have up close views of nature and to enjoy their stay. We love mountain mint. It's a pollinator magnet. And while we're looking at pollinators and all the other wildlife in the gardens, we also look for nighttime activity. Leaf damage is a sure sign that something's been going on. Caterpillars are munching. We like to look at the caterpillars and distinguish whether or not they're butterfly caterpillars or moth caterpillars. We try to avoid the painful stings of the saddleback caterpillar. And we love the white marked tussock moth. We like finding moths during the day, like this luna moth. Some moths don't really look like moths. This one looks like bird poop. Some moths mimic other bugs to keep predators away. Some look like beetles, like this alianthus moth. This one is a plain plume moth. We like the daytime moths, like the snowberry clearwing and this clearwing. And the Nessus moth. These moths look like hummingbirds. Besides providing trees like oaks and hickories and tulip trees and wild cherry, trees that are host plants for moths, we also provide trees and shrubs with white flowers. Bottle brush buckeye is a good one. We have lots of wing stem. Starry Campion brings the Hedina moth. Tall Thimbleweed. Devil's Walking Stick is another pollinator magnet. Winged Sumac. And the Nectar Rich Common Morning Glory. We know the cinnamon and cloves brings the Sphinx moths to the quarry late in the evening. False aloes emit a lovely fragrance. We know that coral honeysuckle is the host plant for the snowberry clearwing. Evening primrose brings the primrose moth. Milkweeds bring the milkweed tussock moths to the yard. Catalpa worms love the catalpa trees. Yuccas bring yucca moths. Tulip trees are host to tulip tree silk moths. Virginia creeper brings Virginia creeper moths. They're wicked cool. So if you provide all the habitat essentials for moths, all the host plants, the nectar plants. Be careful not to use pesticides and tell the city to stay away too. You'll have lots of moths. It's fun to take a bright light and a sheet outside in the garden at night. Gather the kids, kick back and enjoy the show. You'll attract lots of moths. Take pictures of them. Add them to iNaturalist. Discover the world of moths. Moths are cool too. I think they're cooler than butterflies. Happy mothing!